All right, let's look at just um, citing some trees and a building footprint. So I'm going to go back to the, I guess we can go to the front elevation first, because what I want to do is, let me slide this over so this shows up on the screen better. Go to the south elevation, and I really want level one to be at grade up at the top. So I'm going to make level two, we're going to make this a 15 foot, um, excuse me, plus 20. So we'll make this 35 feet, and we'll make level 1 20 feet, and now we'll go to level 1. We're not really seeing anything of the, of the site itself, so let's actually draw, let's go right to the site so we can see when we draw a footprint here. And let's go ahead and put a floor in place. I'm going to go to Architecture, Floor, and a 12 inch slab is pretty um, pretty deep. We almost need to modify that. When we do a light week, oh, I hate to do that. I'm going to go back to the generic um, 12 inch and we'll edit that. Let's just change that right away. So I'm going to duplicate it. I don't want the deck to look that thick. So deck, we'll call it 8 inch. And we'll just add it and make this eight inches. And we'll start drawing with that. So I'll grab my, I'm hoping it'll let me select here. Oops, wrong screen. That's why I'm having a problem. Sorry. All right, so here we are up at the at grade level at the top. So I'm just going to place a building here. So let's come out, you know, generous, let's say 50 feet. I'll come over, I don't know, 25 feet. Back 20, if I can hit it. And let's say over, I don't know. 25 and then we'll go back up and connect this and then let's go ahead and and so that's right at the 20 foot level and that's why the grade is coming up through that edge of there now let's pick a view for this right away so we'll go to view 3d view grab our camera we want to be down there at the creek bed so we're at five foot six so we're just standing at the zero grade so to speak and we'll look back and see what we have. And obviously nothing very impressive at this point, but there is our slab. I'll pull that out a little bit and we'll we'll start to build up a, a quick building here so we get a get an idea of a footprint. So we'll go back to level one and we'll build a couple of different walls here. I'm gonna go to wall. We'll just start some generic wall here. We're going to make most of it glass, so I'll just peel back here and make this solid in the back side. And then we'll go ahead and grab some, some kind of glass wall. We'll go ahead and use storefront only just because it, it reads quickly that it's glass. And we'll just And then we'll go ahead and, I don't know if all these walls, I probably didn't pay attention, they were all unconnected. So I'm gonna grab them all here quickly. Connect this to level two. Connect these to level two. And let's go ahead and put a roof on it. Roof by footprint, level two. And once again, that roof is going to look very thick. So I'll go down to a generic nine inch roof. And we'll let it hang over a little bit. So we'll give it a couple of feet of hang, overhang. So let's go, yeah, let's go four foot. Let's go, and we don't want any slope. It'll just be a flat roof. 
and I'm going to go ahead and use the pick wall tool to quickly kind of lay this out. And we'll take a look at that from our new view. All right, so now we have our, our building positioned. Once again, just so you know the technique for getting rid of, we'll make this our, our final shot view and we wanna get rid of our contour lines in our rendering. So let's just go through the process. We're gonna set up a realistic rendering. We're going to change our graphic display options here. So I'm going to hide the edges, smooth the lines, obviously add our shadows, get a sky in here, and I'll apply that. And we're really running out of background here, which is maybe how we'd want to reposition our building a little bit, but I'll go um, okay with that. We still have those annoying contour lines. So once again, um, view. Visibility graphics, we're going to go down to our topo area and turn off the contours and hit apply. And now we have our building on the site without our contours. And I'll just rotate it around here. Now the building is cantilevering out and you can't really see that. So we need to create a little bit of structure underneath it. Um, so let's go back to our level one. And we'll make a couple of walls, kind of supporting walls. This time we'll make them beefier. And we're going to make them actually go down. So we'll make them a depth. And it's giving me a, a warning, which I don't think is an issue. We'll see. First time I've tried to do this. We'll go down 10 feet, let's say. And I'll just go ahead and draw a couple of links of wall here. And they're not going to show up. Um, and I have the chain command on. I'm going to just turn that off a minute. I'm going to just draw a couple, um, couple more here. Okay, so now we have our just a little bit of some kind of a structure to hold that up. I'll just rotate that down so you can see what's going on here. And I made one extra piece of wall here because I had a chain command on. So let me, let me see if I can grab this. There it is. So you can see now how the foundation helps to kind of communicate that idea of the slope. And we probably should you know, I'm going to go right to trees, and then we'll come back and we'll do a little more of the kind of manipulation of this. My elevation is at 13 feet, so I'm going to make this 13 feet too. Let's see how that looks. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and add some vegetation in. So we'll go to site components. Looks like I already have some trees in here. So let's see if we can go ahead and place a few trees. And you notice how they're going right with the uh, topography, which is nice. Let's see if we can get a little larger species in here. And maybe something smaller down at the water. And I'm going to just go ahead and change the cropping here so we get only stuff that we actually have generated. And obviously you could, you can then, um, you know, uh, I guess make some adjustments to this if you'd like um, for fun. I'm going to try and pull that back. That did not work, so I have to go back to the site. Oops, wrong site. All 
Okay, so as an in-class project, I think that's pretty much, um, you know, a good start with the idea of reforming some kind of a um, um, an interesting site. You could be discussing with a client a problematic site that's already got an elevation to it, and you haven't had somebody out for survey yet, but you can gather up enough information to start building uh, some of this um, concept topography with the idea that you can just easily replace it when you get more accurate survey information. So I hope that was helpful.